Hello good people of YouTube. Today we're going to talk about generators. Why? Because as you can see in my kitchen I have a regular refrigerator next to an upright freezer and of course a shout out to Simon's cat and I have my cheese making refrigerator on top with of course a can of Big Red. If you have that Texas size thirst, there's nothing like a can of Big Red to quench that thirst. So what's this got to do with generators? Let me show you. That's all meat. Lots and lots of meat. And some other fixings. So the generator, why is this important? Because where I live, the power goes out quite frequently. So I need a quiet generator that will run my freezer and my fridge for about 10 hours. That's my latest barn find, the brand new 1982 Arians riding mower. But this here, what we got here is a Subaru, nine horse, E27 motor, and it is running, that's why there's so much noise and a 1500 watt belt driven brush type generator and if you notice the pulley on the engine is quite large as compared to the pulley on the generator and what this does is it turns the engine much slower than the generator the generator needs to go 3600 rpm the engine with the six inch pulley and the two and a half inch pulley on the generator is turning 1440 rpm uh, disclaimer always check the voltage with this okay and remember you need to have about one horsepower per kilowatt is a good mix one and a half two horsepower per kilowatt is a very good mix um, I have a nine horse engine turning very slow, so it's not making full power, but I only have a 1500 kilowatt generator. So the slow turning, I hold about a gallon and a quarter of gasoline, and this thing will run for 10 or 12 hours, running my refrigerator, my freezer, my lights, everything in the house except the well pump and air conditioner because it cannot develop enough amperage to overcome the startup draw. So that said, don't shy away from a belt drive generator. They're a really beautiful thing. And if you notice in the background, I have a 3K belt drive generator. And let me tell you, I'm gonna run that sucker on a 20 horsepower Onan.